welcome to the crazy fun traveling couple. We made it to our campsite number four on Bear Meadows Road. Um, we are at the Roth Rock State Forest. Yep. And we finally made it. We had to go slow because there's a lot of steep hills. But we will show you our campsite. We came from down there. Look at the view, guys. Honey, we got a perfect view. Oh, we got to show you guys our license plate we got. Look at this, guys. So we had to get a a picture of us in front of the truck. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to move the truck up more so we have more camping space, but I moved it close so we don't have to walk as far. So we brought our two bikes. We got our truck stuffed with all kinds of stuff. But this is another great primitive spite or site, not spite, can't even tell. We're going to set up camp and I think the closest campsite near us might be like three miles away from us. So again, we are very secluded. We didn't bring the dog because her arthritis is getting really bad. She didn't want to use the steps to get into the truck. She refuses, so we don't know if we're ever going to take her camping with us again or not. We'll see. I'll try it again on her. She has another two weeks of training to get her up on the truck. Right, Vince? Yeah. But it looks like we're at an edge of a, that's just a hill, I guess. Doesn't this look like a game trail where the animals go up and down from? Oh, and I did bring my trail cam, so I'm mm -hmm. going to set that up in one of these trees, see if we can find wildlife at night. They usually come out at night while we're sleeping. So maybe we'll see some animals. These things moth. I don't know, bugs. Hun, yeah. anything you want to say before I closed. So We're we going to have a really good time and we brought our bikes. Yep. So they're going to go riding. By the way, there's a lot of bikers here. We ran into a lot of people with bikes. Good thing they're e-bikes because we got a lot of hills. <laughs> and can you imagine pedaling on a regular bike up big hills? I'd never be able to do it. All right, we're going to end it here and get back with you once we set up camp. All right. Hi, this is the crazy fun traveling couple, Vince and Teresa. And here we are at our campsite. Right now, we're getting ready to go bike ride. And over here is our tent and our picnic table and our chairs. And, and <laughs> got lots of water. <laughs> you got water. Hey, look, I found my glasses. There you go. Now, we didn't um, put the gazelle up because. I tried to only put one item up and not two because it's more work to go back home with. So today we decided just put the cabin camp thing up. I'll show you the inside of it. Very roomy. As you can see. I don't know if we'll need a buddy heater tonight, but I brought it just in case. It's supposed to be nice out tonight. And there's our bathroom. We the last video we showed you guys what's inside. It's just a toilet and um, a little bucket with hand sanitizer, hand wipes, and toilet paper. Let me give a quick look at it. In case people didn't see our last video. Oh my God. There you go. See, that's our bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Primitive camping for the women out there. We need our toilets. Here we go. So this is all our campsite right here. So we own all this land. So that's a lot of land. We and took our bike truck. rack off because it's hard to get stuff in and out of the truck. The food, the drinks, the garbage can, everything's always in there. Oh, forgot to show them our trail cam, honey. It's probably videotaping us, videotaping the trail cam. There it is. I'm gonna see if I can find some animals today and tonight. While we go bike riding, we might see an animal coming back. Who knows? If I don't have good animal sightings, I'll move it to a different tree. But this looks like a good path for animals to go up and down from. So I'm thinking they're going to come from out there. All right, Vince, you ready to go bike riding? Yep. Okay, that took us a good hour to set up. Tent was easy. That took like five minutes. But the pound of stakes in, that's what takes a while because... Every time we go camping, it's very rocky. So make sure you have good steel pegs when you peg things because I always ending up hitting a rock for some reason. 
All right, now we'll do some bike riding. Well, we are going up a really big hill. So, so far Pedal Assist 2 is doing a great job. Oh, here comes Vince. I knew he'd catch up sooner or later. Here he comes. We are going to hike the John Work Path. And they say it's an easy hike, so it shouldn't take too long. We took the keys out of our batteries, so the bike should be okay there. Alrighty, we're going to start hiking. Wow, it's very uh, slow. Check it out, guys. Oh, I hear noises in there. I think we might find something in here, honey. Because I hear noises in there. You found a duck. Yeah, but now I can't find them. It was a different kind of duck. It's like a duck you don't really see that often. It's hard because you have all this laurel around here. It's hard to see what's in there. See, the, there's a swamp over there. Oh. Oh, it went through a cobweb. Oh, I hate that. One thing I don't like about hiking trails is going through cobwebs. Oh, it's nasty. Don't like that feeling. But once in a while, you run into them. Whew, I went through another cobweb. Honey, how about you get ahead of me so I don't go through cobwebs? How's that going to prevent you? Well, you'll see them before I do. There we go. Go ahead, I'll give you space. I don't like cobwebs. Ugh. Terrible feeling. Wow, look how like I feel like I feel like we're in a jungle. Honey, how's that jungle song go? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> Permanent vegetarian. Oh, that means you can't go in there. Yeah. In here, I'm gonna make a little turn and see what's down here. It's a little buggy out here. Huh. Look at this, honey. Wow. Tell you what, thing about hanging out at uh, State Forest, it's amazing different things that you can see while hiking. And all of them have great hiking trails. That's neat, huh, honey? Yeah, it's pretty. Yep. Oh, found an opening so you can see better. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, honey? Yeah. Gorgeous. Hey, we're back on bike riding. It was a nice hike we did. Now we're gonna see if we can find a vista up here somewhere. So now we're gonna go on North Meadows Road with our bikes and see where it takes us. Now remember, Vince, when we come out, we're gonna make a right. So right. if we forget, we're gonna replay our video and we're gonna hear ourselves say, make it right. Right, Vince? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we go, more of an adventure. Tell you what, it was worth going up that big mountain with our e-bikes because we got a beautiful view. Check this out. What do you think, Vince? I like this rock. There you go, Vince likes the rock. 
So we go all the way. We still have more of a mountain to climb yet. You turn your power off on your bike, right? So the battery don't die, you'll be walking back. We came from all the way down there. Whew, I would never be able to do this without an e-bike. That was a steep hill. We still got a workout, but not as bad as a regular bike. Look at that. Look at that view. That vista. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get a close up down there. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Love it, love it. Here comes Vince. He's pedaling his bike. Hi, honey. <laughs> Look at you go. You're you're a professional. Stop it again. Top of the mountain, we found. Of course, guys look here. No bicycles allowed, so we can't take our bike. They won't want to, anyways. But the North Meadows Road down where we came from. There are meadows three miles down that way. Honey, we traveled over like six miles because three miles just to get to the Bear Meadows Road. Um, yeah. And the Mid-State Trail. That is the Mid-State Trail, guys. It's also a little flat trail and big flat laurel. But we're not going to take it because it's getting late. And then no, down that, here... That goes all the way through... Um, well, we're not taking the Mid-State Trail. My goodness, we'll never get back. And down here is a... I don't know what that's... I think that's part of the Mid-State Trail. We're not sure. And then there's more. Should we go more up this road a little bit and then get back? Because we have a lot of miles to get back to the camp. Where I don't know. I'm going to find out. You think we have enough battery? And where does that go? We're not going that way. I think that's part of the Mid-State Trail. No, that's the Mid-State Trail down there. Down there's the Mid-State Trail. I'm not going down there because that's going downhill and we'll get lost. So, I mean, we could follow the dirt road and see what's up there and then we're going to have to turn around because I don't want to run out of battery going back to camp. Because it's grassy and it goes downhill and when you go down, you got to come back up. You see what I'm saying? All right, let's move on. Guys, we made it to the end. Vince is on his way. This is the end, Vince. Now we got to backtrack. Yeah, I think we're going to backtrack. I have a half a battery left. We made it to the end. We should go back. I only have half a battery. What do you think is over there? A load. That might be, the back, might be shortcuts. Where, where yeah, but I'd rather go this way and look at the vistas in that. It's like a pretty view. It's oh, better. It's a shortcut. I don't know, but I'd rather backtrack. Because it's pretty. I like being in the woods. All right, so now we're going to backtrack. We'll see you guys back at camp. Right, Vince? Yeah, what's that? Campsite from the mountain. Well, a little bit of it. You can definitely see our truck. Okay, we passed our campsite, so I want to check this hill. I'm going to check this road really fast, and then we'll go back to our campsite. Right. So we're at camp, and we just got done making dinner. How's your dinner, honey? Very good. And now we're going to relax, and later on tonight, we're going to play some board games. Right, Vince? Yeah. I don't even think we're going to need the buddy heater tonight. I think it's going to be a nice night that we won't even need it. But, yep, we're going to eat, and then i got to clean up, and then we're going to play games. Just got done playing beanbag toss. Vince, would you like to give them the score? Teresa is the winner! Most valuable player, 23 to 12. I got 23. I got 12. That's right. It was a very, very good game. I usually beat her. Yeah, but today I won. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go play some Frisbee, and then we're going to play board games and clean up and then go to bed. So who knows what we're going to have on the video next, right, Vince? You never know. You never know. This is uh, Vince and Teresa, and we're about ready to play Sorry, and pretty soon we're going to put the heater on. Yeah, it is a tour inside the tent. 
I don't think I gave him a tour inside. Here we have some games and stuff in there. And then we have our cot set over there. Right before bed, we're going to put our buddy heater back on this table. We'll have the heat on since it's going to be in the 40s tonight. And this tent is really cool because it has lights on it. Now, most of the time, I'm not going to have both things up. It's either one, the tent or it's going to be the uh, gazelle shelter. But if we get rain in the summertime, it'll probably be both. Because, like, rodents can get underneath the gazelle hay vents. <laughs> yeah, they could. So, here's our hookup. In the summertime, that's when we're going to probably use both of them. But, yeah, got the power bank and... We're set extra clothes if we need it. We do have two windows open in case we see animals. I'll run out there and get some video of them. They like to avoid me like the plague. Huh. They do, I tell you. No matter where I go, it's hard to find even a chipmunk out there. But yeah, that's what it looks like out there now. But I have a towel drying out there. It got wet. But yep, this is what the inside of this tent. It's an Ozark Easy Up cabin tent, I think it's called. Very easy. It takes five minutes to put it together. The poles are attached to the tent and you just like, you know, push it up and then it's easy to collapse it. Piece of cake to put this thing up. Especially with two people, it's really easy. And it takes like, what's this take, like four D batteries? Yeah, I see. We'll just keep these on all night because I have extra D batteries if I need them. We'll find out how long the batteries will last on this. And I'll hang this up here on the hook. I just haven't got a chance to do it yet. So that's where that light's going to go. All right, anything you want to say, Vince, before we play? No, but we're having a real nice time. It's yep. very nice here. Oh, it's awesome. I love primitive camping. Okay. Oh, I get to sit on the step stool because my chair is too big to get in here. Here we go. It's the view I have while I'm sleeping. There's Vince sleeping. It's not bad yet. I'm waiting until it drops down to the 40s and then we'll put that thing on. And I'll shut the window a little bit because you need ventilation. So I just might leave that window open. Put that on later tonight, have an extra propane if we need it, but I don't think we're going to need it. But if we do, we'll use it. I don't like it if it's too hot. All right, everybody, have a great night. See you in the morning. Good morning, I got up after 6 a.m., so you guys can see the sunrise today. Today is Tuesday morning, another good day today. We're going to do a real long hike. It's going to be at the Bear Meadows Natural Area. That was right by that bridge on the other side. We didn't really hike that yet, but that's going to be an all-day hike. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have an early breakfast. I put the buddy heater back on again this morning so Vince won't have a chill when he wakes up. Be nice and warm in there for him. I'm gonna make him a hot cup of tea to start the morning off. Um, good morning, Vince. Hello. There he is. He's sleeping in there. How you doing, honey? <laughs> I'm making you. You want hot chocolate or hot tea? Either one. Maybe I'll make you hot chocolate and then a hot tea. How's that? Sounds good. Okay, so I'm making some hot drinks. I'm going to make them some oatmeal, make me some eggs, make sausage for us, and pack up lunches and spend time together and get together and go hiking today. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I think that's the best of the sunrise we're going to get. Hopefully I have animals on that trail cam. I'm hoping. I took the chip out. Just gotta see what's on it. 
might have to move it to a different location because I don't think it was in a good location. Pretty cool though. I like it. I have to move it in a different tree because I know they're going to be out here while we're hiking. So maybe I'll just keep it on the picnic table somehow and tie it around some like maybe tie it around something like this so it don't blow away. Let's see what we can find. All right, talk to you later. Look, I got a deer. Look at this. The music Look at that. There was another one. We went up the hill. Yeah, the one cross I stopped because I wanted to get it. Look at this guy. Hello, Mr. Deer. Look at him, honey. Oh, oh here he goes. We're going to name him Bambi. Hi, Bambi. There he goes. Bye, Mr. Deer. I know. Oh, look at yeah, him. Yeah, you're adorable. Let me put down my window so I can say goodbye to him. Where's he at? He's going up the hill. Bye, Mr. Deer. Oh, I lost him. I think I don't see him no more. You see him? Oh no, they went in the woods. Oh, they were so cute. Oh. There he is. Oh. Bye, Mr. Deer. He blows he the Oh, he's so cute. Okay, let's go to our hiking trail. Guys, there's my mallard duck. Oh my god, there's two of them. Look at this. We didn't even start our hiking trail yet. Okay, we just got here now. We had our breakfast, cleaned up, spent time together. Just got here. So far we saw deer and ducks. We'll see what else we can run into. So we're going to hike this finally. The Bear Meadows Natural Area. All kinds of stuff in here, guys. Cannot wait to do this hike. It's supposed to be nice. Oh, we're going to do some bug spray before we go. I know it's going to be buggy in there. <laughs> more mountain laurel everywhere we go you see this type of plant all over the place oh, oh man back in the jungle <laughs> okay i'm gonna cross that awesome bridge over there to get to the other side very peaceful out here vince very peaceful hike. Hmm. How do they make this? It's so cool. Alright. Oh. Here we go. Another one to cross, honey. Look at this. Pretty. Huh. Trying to find some type of reptile or amphibian out here. Oh. Lots of different streams. Back there we just went straight. I went on all trails and it just said to go straight. So we're still on the Bear Meadows Loop. There's a bridge. So we're going across the stream here. Very, very muddy. Another challenge for this hike. No bridge, I don't know why. Maybe they ran out of funds, I don't know. Here we go.
So far we're doing okay. We just gotta walk through all this stuff. And this is why it's important to like have perfect shoes for this stuff because you never know where you're gonna end up. Came from out there and now we head up that way. It is beautiful here though, I love it. Very secluded. I think me and Vince are the only ones on this trail. Yeah. Literally. On the spring. Oh, okay, that's the sand spring path if you want to go that way. Uh, but I think we go that way, I think. Or we could take the spring path. I'm going to check the all trails map again. So we just got done having a snack. Now we're moving on. Oh my goodness, friends. Whoa. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I got terrible balance. Look at this. I don't know if you can see the water with all this brush. Come on. There you go. So. Vince. Hi! Yeah, we found a little campsite for the backpackers. They have it right here. Now this is a pretty nice one. The one yesterday would be too buggy, but this one, this one isn't too bad for a little, uh, like a camper, hey? Yeah. Oh, this is where we should have had our break, honey. We didn't know we were coming up to this. All right. Moving on to our Bear Meadows Loop. This is neat, Vince. See? It's pretty here. Swampy, but pretty. It's gorgeous. I'm from that way. And now we're on the Bear Meadows Road north. So we're going to go down here till we see a path. Once we see the path on the right, that will take us right to our parking lot. I think we were on this road with our bikes yesterday. Oh, were we? Yeah. So I know where this takes us. But we're going to find the path on the right, take that, and then that will take us right to our parking lot. Now we're heading up here, and this is the path we're going to take. Now, if we were in the other parking lot, we'd go up more and then make a right. But we're at the parking lot that's further away. So, we're going to turn here on the Gene Aaron path. And it's a shortcut to get to the parking lot. If I didn't have all trails, I'd never know about this. So, highly recommend to get all trails or some kind of map to download or... If you have data like I do, you can just go right on. It shows you the most shortest way of getting back to the parking lot that you're at. So we're going to take this trail, and we'll see you when we get back to the truck. That road's closed for some reason. But anyways, we go down this way. So we are very, very close. Teresa? And we just got finished with the trail. We had lots of fun. And now we are having our lunch time. Yep. And then we'll soon go back to camp and we'll play some games, hey honey? Yeah. It's beautiful here. How's your lunch? Very good. <laughs> Since we're out and about, we're outside. It's beautiful, playing some games, soon ready to have dinner. This is Vince and Teresa, the crazy fun traveling couple, and we are getting ready to go to bed for our final day. Unfortunately, we have to leave tomorrow and go back to civilization. <laughs> but right now, we're getting ready to go to bed. We got our heater ready. Well, yep. Yeah. Pretty soon the fan's going to turn on. And we have this one on to keep the heat low. And we had a real good time today. We we went on a very nice nature walk. We went through the swamps. It was very nice. <laughs> and we had a really it was good a time. swamp. <laughs> and 
We played Frisbee and played some games, and we had a real good time, and Teresa made some really good food. So we had a really good time today. <laughs> and we even got our little chairs set up, because I'm not ready for bed yet, so I'm going to sit on my handy-dandy swing and do some editing on my videos, and then we're going to go to bed. But my honey, oh look, the fan's on, see? Isn't that cool how that thing works? Yeah. But my honey, he's ready for bed. He's tired. I'm very tired. We got 95% of our stuff already in the truck. The only thing we got to pack in the morning is what you see in the tent. So that won't take long, and then we'll be heading home. Right, Vince? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys enjoy our video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Helps us out a lot. And maybe share the video so we can have more subscribers. That would be wonderful. And God bless and have a good night. Nighty night. Nighty night.